We all make mistakes, doesn't matter in which field we are working. The most important thing is to take that mistake as a learned lesson and not as a failure. In the end, we are only human and we should allow ourselves to make mistakes. In this video, I'm going to explain 10 mistakes every beginner artist make and how to avoid them. Mistake number one is not drawing what you actually see, but drawing what you think you see. To make sure you are drawing what you actually see, follow the reference photo strictly. It helps to color match your reference photo beforehand and print the reference photo for a more accurate comparison. Don't draw what you think you see. This can totally change the quality of your drawing. Don't improvise. Don't let your brain fool you. Don't make up colors. And keep a reference photo always close to the drawing. Mistake number two is jumping right into creating a difficult composition without practicing the small parts first. Starting with a full drawing is overwhelming. When you want to start a whole drawing, the pressure on yourself increases. A complete drawing requires much more knowledge about drawing. Sometimes our skill is not developed enough. Learning to draw takes a lot of time and practice. Many beginners are eager to jump straight into doing a whole drawing from the first time, not having much knowledge about drawing techniques. I was guilty of this myself in the beginning, and I really understand beginners who want to do this, but why put ourselves under so much stress that will lead to failure when we can start with small steps? You know that saying, one step at a time. Whoever said that was very right. We have to take one small step at a time to reach our great destination. Taking little but important steps also lowers our stress level plus makes us focus much better on one thing at a time. Work on each part separately. Why is it important to do this? For example, when we do a whole drawing, we need to pay attention to all the elements of that drawing, but by taking each element of that piece one at a time, and practicing it separately until we get the hang of it, think how confident you'll feel after starting a complete drawing, knowing that you master all those elements of the drawing. It will make a massive difference in your self-confidence. Be kind with yourself and take all the time you need. Neither you or I, nor the masters of the art were born knowing how to draw. We all go through the same stages to get to the level we want. Mistake number three is to focus on details instead of the correct tonal values. Details are important, but a good base layer is vital. The base layer is like a seed you plant. If this seed is planted well, it will grow into a very beautiful plant. This also applies to a drawing. If the base layer is on point and the tonal values are correct, all this along with the details will grow into a wonderful piece. Details on a flat base layer are useless. No matter how good the details are, if the base layers on the whole drawing look like in my demonstration, all the work will be in vain. Adding details on such a base layer will be like a plant dried out but you keep adding water hoping it will recover. For many beginners, it all starts to go wrong when they don't pay enough attention to the early stages of a drawing. Sometimes we don't realize this and find that at the end of the drawing, something is missing and doesn't look realistic, but mostly the problem is the bad start of the artwork. A drawing that lacks strong tonal values looks flat. A good base layer can change everything. Starting off on the right foot will make a massive difference in the end. Going back to my example with the seed, it has now been planted in good soil and will definitely become a wonderful plant. Make sure you pay attention to how dark and light the areas of the drawing are. These two extremes done well will make a huge difference. Tonal values work as well as a map for the details. You will also know how hard to press on the pencil in those zones. By seeing how dark or light the areas of a drawing will be, you will also know how hard to press on the pencil in those zones. It's very simple. If an area is very dark, the details will also be done with a more pressure. If the area is bright, the pressure on the pencil should be reduced to avoid covering that base layer completely. Using blacks and whites will create a 3D effect, resulting in a very realistic drawing. Mistake number 4. If drawing on a flat surface, not checking the proportions regularly. Drawing on a flat surface 
can disrupt the way the eyes perceive proportions. Drawing at an angle can solve a big part of this problem. To make sure the proportions won't be messed up, put the drawing parallel to the eyes and check if everything is on point. Check it regularly to fix the problems in time as needed. Mistake number 5 is to draw from right to left if you are right-handed, same for the left-handed people, but in the opposite direction. If you are drawing from left to right, you will avoid smudging. This will avoid constant touching of the drawing with the back of the palm. Starting from the left, the hand will always be in contact with the unfinished part of the drawing, keeping the finished part intact. If you really can't draw from left to right, one solution would be to put a piece of normal printing paper under your hand to cover the finished part. Another plus is not having to mind always where you place your hand. You won't have to worry about the drawing being smudged. Naturally, your hand will always be on the opposite side of the finished area. If you are left-handed, simply start from right to left. All the previous tips apply the same only in the opposite direction. Just the idea of drawing using only my left hand sends shivers down my spine, but of course, for left-handed people, it is all normal. But as a right-handed person, I am terrified of using only my left hand. Mistake number six is not using pencil extenders and wasting money and supplies. These are not expensive at all and can be purchased as a set. Look how cute all these baby pencils are, wouldn't it be a pity to send them to the pencil graveyard? They are as well incredibly easy to use. First of all, make sure it is unscrewed beforehand as the pencil will not fit if the metal part is too tight. With one hand hold the pencil and with the other hand hold the pencil extender. Insert the pencil and when it has reached the size you want, screw the metal part very tightly and here you go, you just created a new full-sized pencil. Your pencil will last much longer this way. I've never thrown away my small pencils since I started drawing, I saved all of them in a jar and since I discovered pencil extenders, I have taken them out and reused them. Mistake number 7 is using the incorrect lighting. A correct lighting is a life changer. Daylight lamps are the best, they show the true colors of the artwork. A daylight lamp is always white. If you draw using a regular yellow lighting, the colors will look totally different in the natural lighting. A ring light is a very good alternative. It disperses the light evenly. I use this one too, but the larger version with a tripod. Mistake number 8 is comparing yourself to popular and successful artists. Successful artists have been where you are, but you still need to get where they are now. We all see those successful artists on social media and think it's always been this way, but we forget that they also started from scratch and have many years of work behind them. Even now, I still have this problem of comparing myself. We have this problem because most of us post only what we have achieved, but not many of us show the bad days when nothing goes right. Take one step at a time. Rome wasn't built in a day. The same applies in any career or business. We all start from scratch, adding brick by brick until everything turns out the way we want it. But every brick has to be done right and given the right attention. You normally see the successful artists where they are now, but you never know what it took to get here, which is an important thing to understand and consider. Mistake number 9 is rushing to complete a drawing. Trying to finish a drawing in one day is not the way to go. Just imagine how much pressure you put on yourself and how stressful it is to try to finish a drawing in only one day and having it to be of high quality. Of course, if you use watercolors or another fast medium, it is possible, but color pencils or oil painting are very slow mediums. Putting too much pressure on yourself will lead to frustrations and take all the joy out of drawing. If we rush to finish a drawing, we will not focus on the quality of the final result, but only on having it ready in a day. Art takes time, great attention and passion. All these things will be out of the question if everything is done in a big rush. You will also constantly watch the time to make sure you still have enough hours in a day to finish. For example, the last part of the drawing is not finished and you only have an hour left to draw. What will you do? 
you will certainly not pay as much attention to this area and you will try to finish as quickly as possible, massively reducing the quality of the drawing. Is it worth ruining all the previous work? What if you wait until the next day and give yourself the time you need to finish the drawing? That would increase the quality of the drawing immediately. Mistake number 10 and the last one is being distracted by your phone. This is a mistake we are all guilty of. How many of us don't find ourselves automatically picking up the phone to check notifications? Time is the most valuable thing we have. For example, lost money can be made back, but can the time you lose be recovered? We all know that's not possible, which is why we have to think that we haven't done anything beneficial by constantly looking at social media and what it will be like if that time was invested in what matters to us. You will lose focus by always picking up the phone and checking. These apps are specifically designed to keep us on them as long as possible. All the colors and the way notifications always show up on the screen have been well thought out beforehand. All these things lead to getting lost by keep scrolling. Save time by putting the phone aside. What also helps is to mute notifications for less distractions. The benefit of avoiding all these temptations is staying in the drawing zone which will help you get more things done. If we take our eyes off the drawing, we get out of the creative zone, taking some time to get back into it and all that just to see who and what posted. One tip would be to set aside an hour a day to reply to all the comments or check what happened in the social media, but be very strict with yourself and don't overdo it. Staying focused on the drawing for hours with no distractions will make the whole process quicker, resulting in a shorter time spent completing a piece of artwork, making you even more productive. Now we came to an end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you've learned a lot from it. I am posting one time a week and normally graphite, color pencil or pastel related videos. So if you don't want to miss any of those, Please hit that subscribe button and the bell button as well to be notified every time a video goes live. And I really hope I'm going to see you in the next one as well. Have a nice day. Bye guys.